this year on MTV's 120 Minutes. And an interesting story about that video, when John S. Hall, the lead singer, was filming that in New York City, outside, he was swinging around a giant detachable penis and was almost arrested for it, uh, for indecent exposure of a phony penis. Broadly so as well. Would you think so? Absolutely. Okay, I just want to let you know that I'm Matt Pinfield. I'd like to introduce you to tonight's very special guest, David Martin from Depeche Mode. It's good to have Hi. you here. Excellent. Thanks for coming by. Now, um, it's been three years since the massive, uh, since the massive success of Violator. And um, what, what's different about this record? Was it a real challenge to make it, to wait three years and to put on another record? Did it take a long time to get a feel to do another one? <laughs> that's, that's all right. I have to answer this one, yeah. Um, uh, I think that we don't we don't really think that much about sort of going from album to album. Um, we, you know, it, the, Violator was incredibly successful, and yeah, you know, in the back of your mind, you do, you know, you you want to sustain your success. You know, we've pretty much uh, we've we've climbed and climbed, and and we've got more and more successful. What we do, our audience has got bigger and bigger, and um, and the fans have pretty much been there all the time with us. You know, uh, right. um, which is a lot to do with that. You know. Yeah. Um, so when we, I think what we do is we want, to, we want the songs to be great and, you know, we go into the studio with the attitude of, you know, this, this has got to be better than the last album and um, in terms of what we want to do and put out, you know, we want it to be different. We try and push ourselves as much as possible to try some different ideas and try different things out. Like with this album, we introduced some different people in. We had some gospel singers come in and we had a string section. Um, we had a hill and pipe player, which is like this bagpipe thing. Right. Um, and we had never really worked with any other musicians like that, so that was pretty interesting and, and uh, for us, you know, to be in there. Yeah. For instance, when Mark was singing One Caress with a 28-piece string section, you know, to watch that and it's live and being done right then, it was really, really exciting, you know. I had sort of chills down the back of that. Yeah. You know, I started thinking about live and performing the songs and then you, you know, um, you know, all those sorts of things come into mind when, and when you start recording, you know, again. But I think... We just go into it with the attitude that we want to make the best record possible, you know. That's great, and you definitely have. And we'll be back with David Martin in just a little bit, but you're watching 120 Minutes, and we're going to get right now to the Goo Goo Dolls' new video. But from Buffalo, New York, from the album Superstar Car Wash, this is We Are The Normal. Welcome back to 120 Minutes. I'm Matt Pinfield, and with me tonight, David Martin from Depeche Mode. We just saw a little bit of Just Can't Get Enough from your 81 debut album, Speak and Spell, in the Vince Clark days. Here we are, eight albums later, 12 years later. We might as well go home right now. We've I mean, yeah. destroyed our career. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, were the old songs? Are you not fond of the old songs? You can't No, it's actually, you know, it's just, you know, when you see something like that, I mean, it was literally, what, how many years ago? Yeah, it's so 12 years 12 now. years ago, and, you know, we look about 10 years old, and... <laughs> It sounds like we made the record when we was about 10 years old as well. But, um, uh, I don't know, see, so yeah, that was like, like a Vince song. And, right. um, Vince's style of writing and everything is completely different to Martin's and everybody. Yeah. You know, that song has kind of been like this thing that's hung around our neck for years and years and years and still we're trying to shake the, the just can't get enough thing off a bit just because we've moved on so much. Right. You know, it's, it's not that we're not proud of what we've done in our past. Of course we are, you know, but... Um, you know, you've got to move on, and we, we, I know people have to sort of harp back to the history to, but um, I was just, just pick a different video. You know? <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, Martin, as far as your songwriting goes over the years, has it changed from back when you started with a broken frame? Has the whole approach to the way you write your songs changed at all? Um, I mean, I the, think, the instruments you use? And... No, I still basically work in the same way. I usually start with a, an acoustic guitar, work out the uh, chord structure, vocal melody, lyrics, and then I usually sort of move on to, you know, computers and, and samplers and stuff and then try and work out a demo that I can present to the rest of the band. Right. That's great. And that's so I would hope that there's been some, you know, evolution, though. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I, I, think, I think there definitely has. You know, Mark's, you know, as I said before, we, you know, I think Mark's demos are quite stripped back now to whereas around sort of time of construction time again and, yeah. and some great reward those albums, Martin was really kind of right up to music for the masses even, was really finishing... Um, demos in that the arrangements and structures and he was pretty strict about that's how he wanted it to be so we would go in the studio and, and you know make that song better you know right. do, record it in a, a more professional way if you like um, but I think over the last couple of years especially the last couple of albums um, Alan and myself and Flood and, uh, have been able to have our influence have a lot more influence in things like sound and, and structure and arrangement and all that kind of stuff and you know, attitude and what kind of instrumentation right. is going to be used for that part and, uh, you know, so it's more fun now, basically, and everybody, 
I think that you, you can feel good about it. you have more involvement in the making of the thing. It's not just like Mark hands it to us and we, you know, copy it kind right, of thing so it's anymore. Got, yeah. He's got more democratic over the years. But I don't know about Mark, Mark's probably, yeah, I mean Mark's saying it's the same <laughs> as what you're probably doing the same <laughs> yeah, when everybody everywhere. writes a song. Right. Speaking of going back to older albums, though, here's a video that goes way back to 84 and Depeche Mode's fourth album, Some Great Reward. This is Master and <laughs> Welcome back, I'm Matt Pinfield, and stick around for a world premiere video from the Sundays, plus the latest from Sloan. Tonight we're spending 120 minutes with Dave and Martin from Depeche Mode. Um, making this record, your vocal sound is, is a little different, and especially on the single of I Feel You. It's really in your face, it's got a lot of edge, it's great. Uh, what's different about the way you did the vocals on this one, Dave? Um, well, I think, first of all, I tried a lot harder. <laughs> right. to, I, you know, I was very conscious, I wanted to... I think my voice has changed quite a bit over the last few years. Um, I, I, I like to sing live in the studio as well. I like to sort of just have a mic and monitors and stuff like like I would live when we're on tour. And um, I, I felt a lot more comfortable doing that. And also, um, I just, you know, I, I think a lot of the time as well, we've done a lot of stuff where I'd, we discovered that I could sing a, a, a lot higher octave. Um, so we've done a lot of kind of stuff like that where I've seen the, the song in the same key, but we'd be up an octave. So that, that was mixed in there as well. So it gave it a much more of an edge and stuff. But, you know, I just, I think my voice has just matured a lot and I'm, I've gained a lot more confidence. A lot of that's due to sort of live work and stuff like that. Plus, I rested my voice for a long while. Right. Well, that helps a lot, yeah. too, I'm sure. Martin, as far as when you wrote it, I mean, just like the demo version of Personal Jesus, which is straight out acoustic, which had a, a, an edgy feel, kind of like a, I mean, blues meets whatever, but it was cool. Same feeling when you wrote I Feel You? Um, pretty much. It was, you know, very riff-based. You know, right. the demo is just basically um, like a shuffle beat, the riff. And that sort of cross-beat, uh, like a vocal sound, and that was basically the demo with the vocals over the top. Right. And it and it did sort of sound slightly personal Jesus-like. We were aware of that, mm. and you know, sort of. We actually tried to steer it away. Sort of steer it away from that direction. Because right. it's very bluesy in the same sort of way, you know. And it had that kind of that beat, you know, that shuffle beat on the floor. Yeah. That, well, those guys who'd be doing when they're, you know, yeah, they're they're doing doing blues. yeah, and that's what we was trying to do as well, you know, um, but mixing it in with the, with the classic sort of Depeche, um, you know, treatments. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I mean, myself and everyone else as well, we wanted it to have a much more of a live feel, and we wanted the thing to sound a lot more ballsy and and, and, and straight in your face and stuff like that, as you said before. Um, so uh, there was a lot more performance really going down on, on that track as well in terms of playing and Mark playing guitar and stuff like that and yeah. me singing. You can feel it too. I mean, you can hear it. It's layered. It sounds great. It just it's, it comes out at you. It's in your face. We'll be checking out the new Depeche Mode video for I Feel You in just a few moments. But first, here's a new one from a Dutch band called Betty Severt. This is off their disc five minutes away from a world premiere video from the Sundays here on 120 Minutes. I'm Matt Pinfield, and tonight Dave and Martin from Depeche Mode are here. Your new album is due out on March 23rd. It's called Songs of Faith and Devotion. And uh, the single, of course, is I Feel You. Was that a conscious thing to write a, a rockin' song there, Martin, with a with rock feel? You know, I mean, you, did, you covered Route 66 years ago, and then Personal Jesus took people by surprise the first time out. Was it something you said, hey, I'm going to do this, it's going to be a different feel? Not really. It's just, uh, it just came you know, that way. Everything is just very natural. You know, I, I never, I don't know what my intentions are when I sit down and write a song. I just try and capture some emotion and, and try and communicate with people. And that's about it, really. Right, what kind of things have you been listening to? Have they had any influence on what you're doing right now? Probably, yeah. Not, I mean, not, listen, you listen to a lot of blues. Mark listens to a lot of blues stuff all the time. So. A lot of blues and gospel. And I think, you know, there is a, a certain gospel influence, even if it's, you know, got our trademark on it. I think it's, uh, you know, I think it is there still. I think the whole album has a real kind of that spiritual, if you like, kind of feel to it and um, it really lifts, I mean it really lifts me, I hope it does the same for everybody else. Right. And, um, and, and I think that there's a, it's because there's a lot of those influences in there um, and the same for me, you know, I, I listen to a lot of that kind of stuff in there now as well, a lot of blues stuff. That's great. Now the video was done out in California in a mission. You decided to do that. Was that uh, something you guys decided actually, to do with Anton? We actually actually we done photos in the mission, but we we shot the video um, out in the desert, um, oh, as where Anton likes to be quite a lot of the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was actually really freezing. It was um, we was hoping for sunshine, and it was mostly rain. Uh, but we were lucky. We we you know. Because it was raining, there was a lot of cloud and stuff like that, and I think it adds to the scenes, you know, it looks, it almost looks like that we've built some scenes and none of it's really real, you're not quite sure whether it's like, you know, what's going on there, you know, um, but it was all done out in the desert, yeah. 
That's great. Well, why don't we check it out right now? Here is the new video from Depeche Mode for iPhone.